minutes as early as two. It's called preschool. By five, by programming your subconscious, these codes hide behind a name that you know is education. You don't want to be educated. We all, we have all been educated. To educate you is to enslave or entrap, just like to entertain. Educate comes from the, the Greek word adjudicate. Adjudicate is when they would beat you and bind you to trees and beat you with metal poles and pipes and whips until you learned your name or learn whatever word they were trying to teach you. They would adjudicate you. This is what Kunta Kente went through in Roots. If you ever seen the movie Roots where he was getting beaten and his name was Kunta Kente, but they was trying to get him to learn that his name would be Toby. And he kept saying, why did they keep hitting him? Because he wouldn't say Toby and he was tied up. They was like, what's your name? He was like, Kunta, Kunta Kente. They know, nigga. What's your name, nigga? Kunta. Kunta Kente. No, it's Toby, nigga. Watch. Watch. And every time that whip would hit the skin, they had these metal, these little metal particles on the end of the, of the skin. And you didn't know they, because we are electrical beings, they, these they would charge these little medical particles up, particles up with sunlight and electricity, and they would put them on the edge of their whips. So when they hit you with the edge of the whip, it's, it would stick to their skin. Right, and now the skin has receptors. Remember, you are a magnet, so they will place a magnet behind these little little nails. They like little metal nails that was on the edge of these whips. You see, you seen slaves get hit with the whip, but you never knew what was on the whip. It's deeper than that. Notice they would tie a slave to where? A tree, or hang you on a tree, all right? Because they understand our connection to the trees. Even though the little mini trees they were hanging the slaves on were replica trees, they still had roots, all right? They were man-made replica trees, but their roots still are tapped into the soil of the planet. So even these replica trees are receiving a frequency because the entire earth is an electromagnetic field of energy, okay? So now they would take the slave and put the slave and tie him up to that tree, hands overhead. Why wouldn't his hands be like this? Why they got his hands over his head, folks? Why? Because they are using <laughs> his eyes. Remember, these are your eyes. If you've been in the university, I made a video months ago about the nine different eyes. You got an eye here and an eye here. These are eyes. This is why when you pray, they make you close your eyes, okay? So when they would chain the slave, they would put, you have the crown chakra right here. So your crown chakra is tilted but you got your eyes up to the sun, so your wrist is blocking the crown chakra, all right? Now on the whip, on the whip, right, and the crown chakra is, is imp it's important because remember, your pineal gland and the crown chakra along with the hair and the skin and that sun and that tree, that's a lot of high-powered electricity, okay? Okay, so at any moment, these slaves, little did they know or remember, right, because this was the pre after the invasion, you could they could charge up off of this, Right. And you I can't say all the slaves didn't remember because a lot of the slaves, when it was the moment of slavery, a lot of our ancestors still knew all this, this stuff. Right. All this voodoo and hoodoo, they call it now. They knew about all this stuff. They knew what we came from. They knew all this. Stuff. So the slave master, when he would put you on a tree like that, he got your pineal gland down away from the sun. And he liked to put they back to the sun. Notice, notice. If you go back and watch or look at any of the whippings, they never face the slave toward the sun. They always turn the slave back to the sun. If they back is to the sun because the master hit you with the whip. He hit your back. You all right? Now you should ask yourself, why did the master to make the slave face him? Wouldn't it hurt the slave more to hit the slave in the face with the whip and all up here? Why is he hitting the slave on the back? Because all of your chakras, although they are right here, 
right here, right here, right here, right here. They are laced on the spot. Boom, 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 boom. Your chakras are on the back and they lay straight down your spine. Straight down your spine, right? You know, at the bottom of your spine, you got the black goo. That's where the kundalini energy come from as it's rise. That's what's going on right now. After the 21st, you see the kundalini energy rising amongst us. So everybody waking up. But I'm telling you why in slavery, it's always been science. Why they would, the, the master, they want the back. Because they, they are aiming the metal projectile. Remember, they got these metal projectiles and your bones is metal. Your bone, bone marrow is a lower form of metal, okay? So they would put these little metal projectiles on the end of the slave whip, and then the projectiles was attached to a metal piece that was attached to the leather, all right? So you are a magnet. So when they, when they, when they, when they whip the whip, right? You in the sun, all the electricity from the tree, all the electricity on the edge of the whip, because it's a magnet on it, your soul is a magnet. So that, so when that magnet hits your back, it's going to attach to the soul, right? Even more because of the frequency pool, because you are a soul. So, but with the with the metal particles at the edge of the whip, aimed at the chakras, aimed at the chakras, they are ripping away the flesh with the whip. So that's why most slaves will have them deep slits all across their back. And you should ask yourself, like, why would they just fuck their face up? Wouldn't it make sense? Like, if they really want to hurt the slave, why not just smack his ass in the face with the whip? That'll fuck him up. Why just fuck up they back? You know what I'm saying? Because the chakra, kundalini energy, you hear me? Kundalini energy, right? And when they, and remember, the blood is the house of the spirit. So when they ripping the flesh off and they ripping the blood off, and you got this magnetic pull, all right, you got this magnetic pull, and you got this slave with his pineal, with his pineal gland, the opposite of the sun, and he's going through this, he's going through this torture. So now he's 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 pushing out adrenaline chrome like adrenal chrome because of the fear. Fear's kicking in, he's dropping in frequency. This is how they this is how they were able to originally get us to drop and stay in the root of fear. When doing slavery was used for to keep you in that root. You know what I'm saying? That's why when the slaves would run away, if they caught you, they would chop a leg off to, to put more fear in other slaves. Because when you run away, you put inspiration into the plantation. Now every slave want to run away. So now the frequency rises, and that's when you would get the rebellions. So to keep the frequency down, it was always a frequency war. Remember, these beings landed on our planet from different realm. They came to our planet through portals of the Caucasus Mountains, so they know all about you. So, you know, it was always science to the whole method of slavery. But the reason I'm breaking all that shit down is because Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte. Right? How did they strip him of that essence? This is what they do to you today. They tell you what shit is. And if you say it's not that, you get punished for not agreeing with what they teach you. There are no children here. They implement sex magic on us as young as two years old. All the Walt Disney comics, dicks, dicks for noses, titties for cheeks, when they're drawing these characters. Walt Disney was very deep into the occult that they call it. He was a sorcerer.